Hello guys, welcome along to the first tutorial here on the Chill Out Flight channel. And today we're going to take a look at the newly released uh, MD80 by Leonardo Software House 4 Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've seen over the last few days since it's released a lot of people having issues with uh, trying to import their SimBrief flight plan from SimBrief directly into the MCDU via the ACARS option that we get in the um, MCDU here in the MD80. It's not quite as simple as um, it is if you fly the fly-by-wire A320 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You know that in, when you hit the uh, init request uh, button in the MCDU, a couple of seconds later, your whole flight plan and all the information that's required is uh, automatically put into the uh, MCDU. In the MD80, that's not quite as simple as that. We've got a couple of extra little steps, but it is possible. And it doesn't take that much longer to do. Just a couple of uh, couple of more minutes, and you can get your um, your flight plan over here in the electronic flight bag, and also then down into the MCDU. So we'll go ahead. and We'll turn the plane on. We'll get rid of the uh, the yoke, and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and I'll show you the steps. What you need to do to get the flight plan imported from Simbrief into the MCDU. So we're going to hop on the overhead now. We'll give, we'll go and get some external power to the plane first, and we'll set it up as if we were going to do the uh, the beginning part of a of a flight. So if we hold the button on the uh, EFB, it should come on. And what we're going to do is go and get just uh, some ground power connected to the uh, airplane. With that connected, we can just nip on the overhead and grab the uh, external power one. We will pop the back yard as well. Why not? Just because we can. Anyway, we'll leave the plane like that for now. It should start itself up. It's going through all of its uh, bits and bobs. And we'll just wait for the MCDU screens to uh, come to life. While we wait for that, we're going to go and grab SimBrief and make a flight plan. And uh, we'll see how that all integrates with uh, the MCDU here in the MD80. So, if you're all familiar with SimBrief when you make your flight plans, I've made one up now. We're going to start off down in Bristol. And we're going to just fly up to Edinburgh. As you can see, once you generated your flight plan, it gives us the route and just here as it would do if you're flying any other aeroplane. So the only other thing we need to do now to get this imported into the MCDU is just to scroll down the page just a little bit further past the OFP and down to where they have all the flight plan download options. Partway down there, you'll see two files, Leonardo MD80.MDR, which we need to download, and the Leonardo MD80 ACARS file, which is a .txt file. Once you've downloaded those two files, they both need to go into your Microsoft Flight Simulator community folder. So if I grab mine, I've already downloaded these files, but we'll go into uh, the community folder, which is here, and you'll see if you've installed this mod without doing anything to it, just the way it's uh, natively installed, you will find you'll have a couple of uh, Mad Dog uh, files and folders here. We've got the uh, deliveries that I've got installed. We'll also have a LSH Mad Dog X aircraft folder. If we double click that and go into here, we'll get a list of other folders. And the one we're interested in is routes. If we double click on routes, you can see I've put the acars.txt file and the MDR file that we downloaded just a couple of seconds ago from Simbrief into the, uh, the routes folder inside the Mad Dog X aircraft folder, which again is in your community folder. That's all you need to do, just put them in there and then you can close that and forget about it. With those in that folder there now, we can go back to the EFB and we'll go to the main menu and we go to electronic flight folder. We go import OFP and type in the ICAO of the two airports we're using today. So for Bristol, which is Echo Golf Golf Delta, arriving into Edinburgh, which is Echo Golf Papa Hotel. Press confirm and boom, there comes your flight plan straight from Simbrief into the uh, EFB. And you can go through the uh, OFP, you got your times, your on and off blocks, you got weights, your flight log information and all the other good stuff that comes with the flight plan, as well as your flight number and the date you've made it uh, across the top as well. And now for the other part, getting it into the MCDU. So if we hop across, not that one, uh, hop across to the MCDU. And if we go to menu, A cars, A cars uh, menu, then pre-flight, then init data and data request. That should drag all the information from those two files, there we go, into the uh, MCDU. So you can see you're starting in Bristol, heading to Edinburgh, 
and it got an estimate time on route about one hour. So that's good, we got all that in there. The next step is to get the uh, the waypoints all set up in the uh, legs page. So if we go back to menu, AFMC1, and then we can go to uh, position in it. We're in Edinburgh, uh, sorry, not Edinburgh, Bristol. Echo, Golf, Golf, Delta. We'll grab the GPS coordinates and pop them in. And then we can go to route. So instead of putting your destination in there, we're gonna use company route. So all you need to do now is type in Bristol's ICAO, which is Echo, Golf, Golf, Delta, immediately followed by Edinburgh, your destination, or wherever it is you're flying to, which is Echo, Golf, Papa Hotel in this instance, and put that into company route. And you can see straight in all of your waypoints, it's filled in the destination being Edinburgh, and we've got our first bit is direct to Brecon. Then it's got the airways in November 864 to Nitton. And if we go on the next page, we've got the upper 17 to knock in, upper 16 to Ribble, and upper November 601 to Inpip. And Inpip, obviously, if you're familiar with Edinburgh, that is going to be the start of the arrival into uh, Edinburgh when we get there. So we can go ahead and hit the depart arrive. Departures out of Bristol, runway uh, 27. And we're doing the Brecon 1 X-ray departure, so we can put that in. Uh, no transitions, which is good. And then we can go back to Index and Arrivals into Edinburgh. It's going to be ILS 24, and we've got the InPip 1 Echo arrival. We won't have a transition. And there, that goes into our flight plan as well. So if we go back to legs now, we have a full departure out. And uh, above 3,000 feet, it's got all the coding in. There's to Brecon, that's our departure. And if we skip right the way through this, uh, now if we go to the next page, down to Tala, and then we got the, uh, should find Inpip. There's Inpip, then Inrev, Esto, Tartan, and then the centre fix for 2-4 into, uh, into Edinburgh. So you can just activate, execute, and if we jump back across now to here, we can now see on the ND that just by doing that init request, we've now got our whole flight plan. Uh, inside the NCDU and we can just uh, go to there and we can now just go and do our usual stuff check it out make sure it works well go to plan and we can just step through uh, the whole route and up to Edinburgh and that way guys if you're doing a long flight you do not have to spend ages putting in all the individual waypoints and you can just uh, download those two simple files from Simbrief and it will uh, import them straight into your um, straight into your MCDU whenever you want to uh, you want to fly. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. It's the first one, like I said, I've made. You normally find me flying the A320 and other various aircrafts on the YouTube channel and over on Twitch as well. So um, yeah, I will continue to make these tutorials. If anything you want to see, uh, please leave a note in the comments, and I'll try and make the video to help you out as much as I can but guys for now I hope you uh, enjoyed that and you get some use out of this if you are flying the uh, the MD-80 and wanted to uh, one figure out what was going wrong or why you couldn't get it to work um, when you try to import from Simbrief but that is the steps you need to go through those two files that we saw I'll show you them one more time on Simbrief and then once you've done that shove them straight into your community folder and then happy days so they are, like I said, make the flight plan, generate it all up, and then you come down to here, just grab these two files, MDR and .text, put them both in the uh, community folder underneath the uh, the Mad Dog Aircraft folder, then into Roots, and just copy them into there. Once you've done that, close it up, come straight back to your, your sim, and you can uh, get yourself uh, underway. But guys, I'm going to leave that one there today. Quite short but sweet and I hope it's helped you out and I will hopefully see you all very soon on a live stream or another video tutorial sometime very soon. But for now guys enjoy the rest of your day and uh, take care and I'll see you all soon.